Hey guys, and welcome to Volantis with me, NG Paradox. Now, I think it's important to say this right now. This is the beginning of the end of this series. Now, a lot of you might be asking, why is that? Why am I doing this? Oh my god, the end of the world. Um, thank you guys for the support for this series. This series has been really fun. I love the fact that people have really gotten into it, especially for a house, you know, which is not really like... You know, it's not from the TV shows, it's not from the books, it's not really a famous house that we know. It's kind of a house, obviously, that has some uh, part in history and people have heard of them. But a lot of people probably don't know anything about this house at all. And I've really enjoyed what we've been able to do in this series, but I feel like now is the best place to end it. Uh, I'm not going to end it right now, I'm going to say this is the beginning of the end. I have a plan. What I plan to do is we're going to defeat these rebels for now. And then after that, I'm going to declare war against the entire world. Anyone that we can declare war against, we're going to declare against all of them at the same time. That way it'll be a massive world war against Valyria. Everyone else can see that Valyria is getting too strong. You know, Damien has taken over any really strong um, person who could take him on, like, you know, Karth, uh, Yi-T, the Stormlands. Are there any strong empires that could really take him on? And he's defeated them. So we're going to declare war against everyone at the same time as have one massive world war. See if Damien can pull it off, facing the whole world. So that will be the plan. Once that is done, if we win or fail, that will be the end of this series. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for supporting this series. I've really enjoyed it. I'm happy that you guys have enjoyed it. But I feel like I've taken this as far as I can when it comes not just to making stories, um, but also just for me. Like, I, I find that I'm finding it difficult nowadays to make it as entertaining and story-driven as I would in the past. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like now is... I I've lost the drive for this series. So I think it's the perfect time. Damien was a great man. Hopefully, he'll survive to the end of this war, and he can continue his great legacy so his son can inherit. Veamond Verezes. That's the plan for now, but we'll have to get there first. Obviously, there's still a lot of things to do before you get to that point. But it is the beginning of the end. I've already got my Patreons um, voting on the next series. The next series will be a Game of Thrones mod series. And there are two in the vote already that are far, far, far ahead of the others. I gave them five choices and two of them are much further ahead than all of them. And I'll give you guys a clue. That way you guys who are not Patreons can kind of maybe have a guess about what the potential series could be. I'll tell you now, it's in the scenario of Robert's Rebellion. So, Robert's Rebellion, and it is someone who is not a Lord Paramount. So, it won't be one of the main kind of contenders, you know, the Lord Paramounts, the Reach, uh, the Tyrells, the Tullys, um, Arons, and the Baratheons and whatnot. It is someone who is of a lower status. But, obviously, he's a character. They're, they're both characters. It's funny, they're both actually in the same scenario, and they're both lower than Lord Paramount. And one of those two is going to win. It looks like one of them is probably going to win now. One just kind of got ahead. But it still could possibly change. But that's a little clue, a little hint for the next possible series. Um, I like both of them, actually. I will say that. I like both ones that are winning. I think both of them could be good. But let's jump in to what's going on here. We have quite a few problems going on. We're trying to defeat all these rebels. And we don't have tons of men. Uh, we've got men heading east, and we've got to keep our men in Volantis to try and protect Volantis, but yeah, it's a very difficult situation. Do we take them? Yeah, I think I'm just going up this way, aren't I? Yeah, we're going down to Carf. I need to stop them as quickly as possible. 15,000 men are going to go through. Probably should try and capture them as soon as possible. He is in his his castle, so it might be possible to capture him, actually. So yeah, we'll continue with that. March on, boys. March on. Minus 10% right now. They've taken that. So Damien and his dragon. Where can I go to stop them? Um, we've got some allies up here. They're going to go try stop them. They should have enough men. Um, these guys should be able to make it down here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll just keep as it is. I'm just going to protect Volantis. We can't let anyone take that. Let's go back over here. Do we have enough commanders? We need some more generals. Get some more generals for the army. One more. Gorys or Harry's Targaryen? 
he's a craven, but he has he's dragon dreams. He's got two Valerian steel swords. He must be awesome. I'm just going to choose him because he's a, a Targaryen. <laughs> he's just a cool character. Let's get him on the battlefield. You know, he might be a craven, might be the best commander, but still, you know. And our allies have just lost that battle. That's not great. Another faction to depose me, but now it's already gone. My prisoners complain about his dark style. No, we're going to let him rot. I can't deal with these sort of things. Too much going on. Look into your dragon dreams. What? Okay, these are just for the great houses. Okay, what is that? Look into your dragon dreams. Go to sleep and look into your dragon dreams and try to discover plots against you and your family. Lord Harry. Ah, okay, so I can actually get the Targaryen to use his dragon dreams. The plot is successfully revealed. Okay. Let's do it. Lord Harry spent many hours in his dragon dreams after many metaphors and images. The outline of a mysterious figure and a dragon. Serlin? Serlin? Circling, I think that's meant to say. Overhead appears. The dragon opens its mouth and breathes fire, which illuminates the figure, who is none other than... Who? None other than what? The signs all point that it is apparently plotting to... What? What is... <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Treachery's been revealed. Someone's treachery has been revealed, apparently. I, I have no idea. I guess I can look at known plots. Let's see. Is someone trying to kill me? No. Well, I'll be. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. But I like the fact I can use my courtier. I can use his own dreams. Now I think we'll take these guys up here to fight them, because obviously our allies did lose against them. It would be good to defeat them. Let's go back over here. Got these guys coming this way. Uh, Castle has their men down here. They've also got a revolt going on right now. This woman. Let's release her. We don't need her in the dungeons right now. The colony's under siege. A relief force must be sent. I don't want another colony to fall apart. We don't want colonies to fall apart. That just means more work for me. Now, we are going that way anyway, but I'm not sure if we're going to get there in time. Don't think we're going to get there in time. My young son has fidgets his education. Ooh, okay, you got elusive shadow so game of Razies has got quite good intrigue and his marshal's not bad but with the dragon he's pretty capable huh third son in line belmertis good job my son good job excellent he's not looking too bad he's better than vaymond but then again vaymond is also a skilled fighter so he's also cruel <laughs> What is with us? What is with this family and being cruel? He was cruel? Actually, only my grandfather wasn't cruel. Huh. Okay. But this family's had a lot of cruelty going on throughout the generations, it would seem. The mountain clans accepted the peace offer. Did they? Oh! Bub, bub, butter. What is going on over there? Is it with the mountain clansmen? No. Okay, Butter, stop it. Apparently my dog does not like the Mountain Clansmen. Or he supports the Arons, I'm not sure. Your court is one very well. Very good. Too Ooh, he's not turned out too bad. Early on for 13 years old, he doesn't look too bad. Exceptional education. What education do we give him? Learning. Yeah, and he's already got like a 13 for that. So that could go up even higher. He has some good potential there. Or maybe Butter's barking because we're ending the series at some point. <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe he's just upset. He's like, oh, God. ending the series. <gasps> no, what? No. Aenys! He chopped his head off. You son of a... I will capture you. I will get you. 200%. How have we not had this fire yet? Damn them all. I mean, it does put... Gaiman, you know, further in line to the throne. <laughs> He'll be happy about that. I can't believe it. Look how many kids I had. And three are gone. Three are gone. Three of my children. How's my uncle doing? He has so many kids. 
Ayla. He's also got a kid. An ugly child, apparently. Okay, they didn't have very good educations, did they? Ooh, she has the dragon, yeah. The daughter. Sky Dancer. Okay, let's go back. Um, we're fighting over here. Those two are about to meet in battle. My son is dead. I will get revenge. I will revenge you, my son. I will. It seems that Belagor, the spy master, the Lord of Freehold of Valisar, has been sent to Valisar to investigate a plot, a room of a plot. Uh, we might, yeah, we might just silence her. Yeah, I'm starting to think Quava might fancy. What is it with women called Quava? Why is it with women called Quava in this series? Is that just like a popular SOC name? I am, I am temperate, but I'm greedy. I can imagine the greed kind of. Going over into his lustfulness. And the fact that I'm cruel, yeah. Make a move. <laughs> it's good to be emperor. I went to a chamber and gave her a good tumble. Oh, and wow, okay, at the same time, Illyries is pregnant. Good job, wife. Good job. My parents are here by request that my son is appointed as my successor to the five forts. I will allow it. I accept your request. I accept. I accept it. Do we have the right people in charge here? We need dragons. Learys, you will lead these guys. You'll take that. And Veron. Yeah, Veron will take that. They need dragons because they're about to face quite a, a potentially big army. 15,000 men. Probably should have sent me. But then again, I'm over... The rapist. The rapist. I I'm hoping that means rapist. I maybe it's rapist. Maybe he's rapper. You know, you never know. Maybe rapping has come to Slaver's Bay. You know, slaves, you have to go through hard times. So maybe they developed, you know, some rapping to talk about the hard times they go through. You know, it's kind of where blues, blues became rapping, didn't it? I, I think. I think I've heard that. Maybe. I I we'll just say this is rapist. Rapist. He's a rapist. Very good musical prodigy. Where did my men go? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Where did all my men just go? Did we just lose all those men? Did they just exit the war? <laughs> we just lost all of these men. Okay, so I'm in this battle. We didn't have enough... I should have put enough commander there. Okay, we need to go back here because these guys cannot handle this situation. You might just delete. What happened to all my men? We they just were getting there. Ugh. Well, 27,000 men we can still call upon. We defeat this army. They're at 36%. Mm, they're at I put them down to 33. We need to take this army to Karth. That's it. We're going to leave Volantis. Let's go, men. We're going to leave Volantis. We're going to go to Karth. We need a lot of ships. That is uh, probably perfect. That is actually probably the... Yeah, that's uh, just... Um, that's exactly what we need. We needed a lot of ships. That was exactly what we got. Bring the men down. We're going to take them over to Car. Long before our endeavor to rebuild began, Borash had a thriving harbor. Okay, I have the money. We need an advisor. Ugh. I mean, he has been quite loyal. Even if he is a... <laughs> A ra even if he is a rapist, you know. I, I maybe don't like that type of music, you know. I'm an old, I'm an old man. I don't understand it. <gasps> My wife! She's one-eyed. And severely injured and a lunatic. Was she a lunatic before? <laughs> I'm already forgetting. Oh dear. Things are not going well for us. Things are just going from bad to worse. She has died. They hanged her. No. My wife now. A small private funeral, yeah. I wasn't that fond of her, to be honest. My other wives were better. <laughs> my other wives are really more my favourites. There we go. Nerys is now our number one wife. As yeah, she should be. Then again, I think I prefer the, the third wife, actually, the most. If you were to ask me my opinion on that. Okay. The army is almost there. I think we can leave Volantis. I can't see any big armies around here at the moment. 10th of August. 
you would like to be legitimized. Um, I don't think so, no. I see no reason why to give you that, sir. Get on the boats. Let's put my wife here. Me and my wife, we're going to head out onto a sea voyage. And we're going to end this rebellion once and for all. They're bringing their 19,000 right now. We need an advisor again. Quaidy, he's got a dragon. Yeah, let's bring him in as an advisor. He's got a dragon. I mean, what can I do? we got to get him on the council. This is, this is getting worse and worse, isn't it? Okay, finally. The War on Pentos has won. The Dragon Gemtail and Fisherion appear to become a, a, oh, a mating pair. So my dragon and... They both look the same. This is disgusting. They're twins. This is an abomination. And Verwon's dragon. That's given him an egg, possibly. Okay, how touching. I would like to be legitimized as the son of Ares Targaryen. Hmm. I mean, your, your mother was definitely a Targaryen. Maybe we could. Your request is granted. Go on. Go on, because I, I, there's already a family with his name. So that, that Anagarian, whatever it's called. We've already seen another family with that name, so... It does kind of make it a bit more confusing. So maybe having him back go into a Targaryen just makes it a bit easier. Then we have a Targaryen on the five forts. I think that's kind of cool. And let's head straight to Karth. He's no longer there, which is a shame. But we might be able to get him to return with his army. If we attack it. Whilst clearing out a ruined library in Borash, some scholars have found some scrolls that they thought you should see. They speak of the harpy and its virtues, and they're a fine piece of writing indeed. Um, I don't think Damon particularly cares. I mean, our son was killed by someone who believes in the harpy. Burn the false words. Burn them all. I'm instructing Urion. He's become a skilled fighter. Very ooh, Urion's not turning out too bad. I wonder if we could get him to become. I wonder if he could become a... He's got three years to become a formidable fighter. He could do it. He could definitely do it. How you doing, Game On? Yeah, Game On, I, I quite like Game On as well. Basically, my first two sons are probably the weakest. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. And we had a daughter, Calaverazes, and she is apparently attractive. And we did our ambition. Win the war, yeah, because if I win this war, we can then go on to the final stage. The final point of action where we take on the entire world. They will all see. They will all see. But the Sarnor are looking in trouble. Looks like the Sarnor have been beaten back by Dothraki, though he is feudal, apparently. Yeah, that is odd. But yeah, so some odd things are going on up there. What's going on back here? Yeah, Volantis looks okay. There's armies just everywhere. Look, it's just a mess. I've heard reports from Maya that your vassal is suffering greatly in the captivity of the Magister. Ah. <sighs> Their leader is not here. We'll ask his family to come with us. There we go. We're now positive, so that's a good thing. Hopefully this will bring him back. Yana's currently in my captivity. Let her rot. Oh, wow. We got we got so many kids. We had so many children. Look at this. Look at them. Let them rot. Okay, I'm going to use the dragon here, I think. Quava claims she started to show signs of pregnancy. Another child. Even in his old age, he's having even more kids. Like, rot. Okay. Okay, please. Can they just give you one for all of these? Like, do you want to keep all the family in their dungeon that you just arrested? Yes, I do. Now. Okay, looks like I don't have to use my dragon. Our dragon just did it himself. Or my wife probably did it. Force me to join factions. But there's definitely... From the dragon dreams, though, we'll take it like this. The dragon dreams so show that there's something to come. Something bad is coming for me. And it involves dragons. Will my dragon die? 
Or is someone plotting against me? We couldn't find any plots. The leader's not here. That's fine. Trowers bring rumors of fire and blood. Paquala Queda now rides a dragon. Turgon. Okay. We've lost quite a few men in this battle. We're only at minus 3%. We're going to need more men. We've got 41,000 men we can still call upon. There we go. Let's get... Let's try and get as many men as we can together now. These guys can now go to Volantis. They'll protect it. Any more men? 139 here. Over here? No. Don't see any men over here. Everything is just in complete war. Complete destruction. 200 men here. 600 here. How about you come down here to support them? We can delete the 200. That didn't seem like it was the right amount. 45,000. Where are these armies? Uh, usually it shows you your armies. Hostile siege, siege. I must have taken it off or something. I don't know. Um, let's... Okay, so we got... Let's go over. Okay, we got YT. Ah, that was it. Of course it was. Okay, bring them over here. Yeah, that's more like it, isn't it? It says 14,000, uh, 22,000, um, 28,000, uh, 37,000, and 40,000. That's about right. It seems to be like 5,000 missing. Huh. Oh, well, that seems to be most of them. Yeah, I think I've got... Oh, yeah, Gogosa. I completely forgot about down there. No, apparently not. It's not the... We don't have any men down there. That was not the one I was thinking of. But no, it looks like we got most of them, actually. Hopefully this... Oh. These guys are going to be in trouble. We must send dragons to relieve this effort. Okay, Veron is there. I'm going to send my wife... Oh, I clicked him off. Um, let's get him back in there. Veron... And Quader. There we go. All dragon riders. Hopefully they can defend that. And I'm down here. I watched my son Urien at play with another child yesterday and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. Um. Yeah, I think he doesn't mind that. He's not he's not particularly bothered about if he's uh he's kind of greedy. Yeah, my guy is kind of greedy himself, so he's probably not particularly bothered about that. He thinks it's good, it means we can get more. <laughs> I'll get the council to vote. You would like him to now marry her. I accept. We did set that marriage up a long time ago. Hopefully it can be set up now. And, you know, her tall and his attractiveness can go together and make a perfect, perfect child. And here we go, we're fighting them there. Our people have done it. Council voted in favour. Everyone's concerned. People respect wealth. <gasps> Pox has broken out. But we need our people to fight in the war. We need our dragon riders. Or all, all is lost. I can't take them away. I can't. We need them. How do they have such minus 19%? As no escape with several of your commanders lack formal training. A generous offer. Fine. Where are we going to take these men? I can't see many enemies apart from up here. I don't want to leave Volantis unattended. This war's going to take a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Things your benevolent, peaceful ruler. I was really hoping those men that we had over here would have got there sooner, but obviously they just disappeared in the end. So we didn't have those men. 6,000 men are coming this way. You notice the Lyra's acting very selfish. Who cares? I have better things to do. Yeah, I have better things to do than help her. And she'll beat it out of her. I'm sure she'll suffer in life. But yes, I've now become slothful. Because, you know, Damon is old age. He can't be bothered to deal with the kids as much as he used to. He's become a bit more of a slothful man. 
might be necessary. How is that thing still going? 196%. The colony's under siege. Okay, they're coming down that way. Should be good. Maiden pool. A new dragon has entered the world. Game and Targaryen has now hatched another dragon. Pearsies. There's so many dragons. This is one thing, you know, personally for me, when you get to this sort of stage and we have like tons of dragons everywhere, I don't particularly like that. I like a scenario when there's only like a couple of dragons. Like, you know, when Danny has dragons, I really like that type of scenario because when there's a couple of dragons, those people who can kind of tame those dragons or somehow get them, it can be really interesting. When you have so many dragons around like we have in this scenario, I get kind of dull of that because it just it just gets ridiculous. There's so many. It's just constant people with dragons. But yeah, that's just my opinion on the situation. Yeah, game is not too bad. Looking forward to how Urion turns out his education. But yeah, I guess we'll end this part here. Hopefully we can defeat this rebellion next time. I'm really hoping we can do it then. I think we should be able to in the next part. And then we can go for the final, the final plan. The ultimate Damien plan to become conqueror of the world or die trying. Can he do it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you next time.